Hi, this is Miss Willette, and I just wanted to read a non-fiction book to you. And this one is called Really Cool Reptiles. And this is written by Justin McCrory Martin. This is one of our class favorites. Really Cool Reptiles. I think the author's intention is to teach us all about, you guessed it, really cool reptiles. Oh, look at this. The author has given us a table of contents. That way we can go straight to that page if we're in a hurry. Chapter one is called Meet the Reptiles, and that is on page four. Chapter two is Reptile Skills on page eight, and chapter three is Amazing Reptiles on page 12. Reptiles are cold-blooded. They cannot make their own body heat like mammals and birds can. Reptiles lie in the sun to stay warm. The world is filled with many different kinds of reptiles. There are snakes, there are lizards, there are turtles and tortoises, there are alligators and crocodiles too. Let's learn more about these really cool creatures. And I like the way that they've labeled snakes, lizards, turtle, tortoise, alligator, crocodile. Chapter two, reptile skills. Fun fact. Geckos have sticky pads on their feet to help them climb. This is a toke gecko. Reptiles are great at getting around. This lizard can run straight up a slick piece of glass. This is what we call a table. Reptiles, what they eat. This table makes it easy for the reader to see exactly what that reptile eats. Snakes eat mice, lizards, birds, eggs. Lizards eat plants, insects, birds, mammals. Turtles eat plants, fish, worms, insects. Tortoises eat plants, fruit, flowers, insects. Alligators eat fish, frogs, snakes, birds. Crocodiles eat fish, turtles, birds, mammals. What I like about this table is that instead of the author writing a bunch of stuff, we can easily go down and pick what we want to learn about. And it says, reptiles are excellent hunters. Chameleons use their long tongues to snatch tasty insects. Zap! Can you see the gecko hiding on this tree? Let's see. Hmm. What do we call this, boys and girls? If you guess camouflage, you are correct. Now they're using a different word I see. Let's see. Some reptiles are great at blending in with their surroundings. This helps them to hide from hungry predators. This is a box turtle, and this is a hognose snake. Take a look at that. Some reptiles have other tricks for staying safe. Box turtles hide in their shells. Hognose snakes turn upside down and pretend to be dead. Wow. Chapter three, Amazing Reptiles. A scientist shows off her pet anaconda. Wow. It says, Say hello to a very big snake called an anaconda. Some of them grow to be 35 feet long. That is as long as a school bus. Fun fact. The pygmy chameleon is minuscule. It's so tiny, it can fit on a fingertip. Wow, I like how they made that word minuscule red. 
Hmm. Komodo dragon. Check out the world's largest lizard. It can eat 100 pounds of food in one meal. That is like gobbling down 400 hamburgers. Wow. Galapagos giant tortoise. Fun fact. Tortoises live on land. Turtles live mostly in water. Oh, interesting. Tortoises can live for more than 150 years. That is older than any other reptile. In fact, that is older than any other land animal. Fun fact. It's an alligator. There are more than 8,000 species of reptiles in the world. Some alligators can go a whole year without eating. They conserve energy by hardly moving at all. Wow! See you later, alligator! And at the very end, they have the glossary. Now look at this. Oh, I see. These are the words that were in red. Look at that. Do you remember the word minuscule? And they give us the way that we could pronounce it. And it gives us the definition, which means very tiny. It's got other words, too, in case you weren't sure. At the very end, they have questions for you. So, for instance, boys and girls, can you share two things that make a reptile a reptile? Talk about this or think about this. You can pause the video. Number two, can you name five animals that are reptiles? You can pause the video and think about it. Number three, which reptile in this book is your favorite? Tell somebody why. You can absolutely journal that and send a pic to your teacher or to me, Miss Willette. So now you see what the characteristics are in a nonfiction book. They give only facts. They have pictures. They can have a table of contents. Not all have a table of contents, but they can also have arrows. They can have labels. They can have these attention boxes. They can also have a glossary at the back, but they definitely have to be real facts and nothing silly or make-believe. Okay. All right, get to it, kindergarten. Good luck. Bye.